Hi everyone! I thought I'd uh, show you my paints because they look pretty and also because in my videos if you hear this noise I'm really sorry I'm closing the cupboard doors because it's directly behind where I paint so I don't want to bang the back of my head because I'm quite clumsy um, so yeah that's what that noise is and when I was editing today I tried to cut out as many as possible but I realized that it might be annoying you guys so I'm really sorry about that if it is uh, if it's getting in the way okay let's get started today's challenge is day four so that is the swipe challenge today the swipes you can use lots of different things to pull your paint uh, swipes work best if you can do them in one go cleanly I've used um, wet paper towels this um, 100 yen or one dollar cutting board and I also use parchment paper quite a lot parchment paper works quite well but you need to keep it taut I've done a lot of swipes in the past some of them are successful some not so much so I'm gonna grab a few and show you we'll start off with one that's kind of in the middle I need this I think it's gonna be hard to get the colors to show up because everything's quite backlit let me see if I can move the light around a little bit so you can see there's this reflective chroma shine pigment on there and there's no gold in this it's orange and purple chroma shine chroma shine pigments by Holgen um, the pigment looks beautiful but the painting hmm, not so much uh, I made this one it's like a neon pink magenta turquoise and blue it's okay it's not wonderful this one did not go well this is what happens when you do a swipe which wasn't that successful to start off with because I don't like the colors and then I left it on a slightly uneven surface overnight to dry and that happened so I'll definitely be repainting over this one sometime uh, this one's okay but it looks kind of muddy I don't know it's not to my taste but somebody might like it the swipe itself isn't bad but the colors underneath are just I don't know they're, they're muddy um, this one's okay except for the composition there's too much black at the top because I put too much paint on but I do really like the neons popping out from the from underneath in terms of using the same technique I think this one was much more successful there's a little bit of iridescence on this and some neon colors I've now got some neon blue paint so I think if I did a rainbow swipe like this before because I was using neons here and I didn't have a neon blue I was using phthalo blue I think and uh, yeah it doesn't match so well so I think it would look better with the neon blue and then this one is probably my most successful one I really really like this this is this quite interesting plum and gold I like the diagonal composition and the distribution of cells here and this is kind of pitting but the gold base shines through. I did this on a coloured base, I coloured the whole canvas in gold and let it dry and then the next day I put this purple on and make, mixed up more gold and swiped again and it got this result. So. This one I think is my best swipe. For my swipe today, as my pouring medium, I think I'm going to use this Montmartre acrylic medium gloss. I've never used this before, uh, so and I only have this one bottle, so I will try and see how it turns out, and if I like it then I might try and order some more. Right, it's time for me to stop chatting and start painting. be my pouring medium today I haven't used it before so I'd like to see how it turns out okay so my colors today are Midas green and phthalo blue from the Danish store 
This is how it's spelt. Sustring greens. Sustring greens. I love these Aquila water-based alkyd resin colours. The gold is gorgeous. Really, really beautiful colours. And they're completely compatible with acrylics. I only have one tube of this. It's a limited edition System 3 by De La Rowney, rich gold. And this is an opaque gold. I've got Liquitex Basics Gold. This is semi-transparent. This is opaque, I think. I've got Mars Black, which I'm gonna use as my swipe color uh, by Basics. And Liquitex Basics Phyllocyanine Green. I'm really in love with this uh, Halo Blue Gold by Jacquard Lumiere, so I'm gonna use some of that as well. This is that paint in a, in a cup. So pretty. I'm going to use 50% acrylic medium and 50% paints. I'll put my paints here for you today so you can see them. So this is the resin, the Akila resin gold, water-based resin gold. This is the normal Liquitex Basics gold. This is the De La Rowley System 3 Rich Gold. This is the Thalo Blue. This is the Mitre Screen. This is Liquitex. These two are from that Danish store. This is Liquitex Basics Thalo Cyanine Green. And this is the Halo Blue Gold from Lumiere. And black will be my swipe colour, but I've mixed that up separately. I think I'm going to try and do some diagonals, um, just put some different pools of colour down, put a big, a big area of black and I guess I'll make that corner, the black corner. Okay so I'll put some black here to swipe with, then I'll put some different lines of colour around and um, swipe in this direction.
with um, baking paper. I've folded this four times over. So. I'm going to give this a go today. Uh, I don't use it often, but it comes up with loads and loads of cells. So I'm going to put that in my swipe colour.
huge thank you again to all of my new subscribers and to everybody who's taken time to watch one of my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel or following me on Instagram at Tokyo Makes. Each day this April we'll be doing one challenge. If you want to join in, you can find a list of the challenges below. Remember, if you'd like to join in, all you need to do is when you upload your work to whatever social media platform, just use the hashtag 30 days 30 pause. If you'd like to search for other people who, who are taking part in the challenge, then just search for that hashtag. For the fifth challenge, I've chosen a colour challenge, which is monochrome. That means that you choose one kind of paint, so for example Prussian blue, and you can mix that with either white or black to create different tints and tones. So you shouldn't be mixing ultramarine, Prussian blue and phthalo blue, more exploring what, can you, what kind of pour can you get using white or black mixed with your one colour that you've chosen. I think I'll find this difficult. I definitely rely on metallic pigments a lot to add interest in my work, but some colours look really, really beautiful over white, especially those transparent blues like um, like phthalo blue or Prussian blue um, and transparent greens like phthalo cyanine green. So I'm likely to choose one of those colours tomorrow, <laughs> even though I always make blue, green and purple work. <laughs> I'm so excited to see your work online everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please remember to like this video if you like it and consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy it and want to keep up to date with my progress. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Tokyo Makes.